Trying to categorize tonight's guest is like trying to catch lightning in a butterfly net. Oh. Well, really, thank you. Thank you, James. Uh, I'd say static electricity at best. Uh, but thanks for having me. Really excited to be here to talk about the Ignite program. What drew you to the role? Well, there's a few reasons. Firstly, learning is something I'm very passionate about. The Ignite program provides an environment where smart individuals with exceptional people skills can quickly learn Cisco technologies and products. Secondly, I really enjoy working with customers. You know, building trust and credibility is so important to setting customers up for success. And this is a process that I, you know, I really love. It's something I really love. Um, finally, Cisco. Cisco is a leader in the field and everyone wants to be with a winner. I, I want to win with the best. Dix, what are the most important factors for you, Jim? What comes first? I, thanks, James. I, I want to work in a role that requires fast creativity to drive business results. Consulting with customers uh, to improve their businesses is, is really an environment that I thrive in. Uh, once a customer is acquired, you know, I really excel in working across functional areas to ensure customer success and, lo and longevity. You know, I really believe that I'm the right candidate for this program and I'm confident that I'll excel in this role. I can think of several reasons why you should feel that way. What are your reasons? What? Well, thank you, James. Uh, as you know, I'm a creative problem solver with a strong customer focus. I have a reputation for building trust inside and outside the organization. During my career, I've gained respect for my ability to make informed business decisions by collecting strong evidence and applying intuition and experience to set goals and adapt quickly to problems. I maintain a positive outlook and can bring excitement and advocacy to internal teams while building and presenting customer solutions externally. In prior roles with Whirlpool, I worked in sales operation functions that required total business understanding to solve specific business problems. And excelling in this environment meant that I had to learn from the many functional areas to speak the language required to solve the issues at hand. Susan. Talk to us, if you will, about working with James. He's a, a deeply talented man, a good, good man. There was an occasion when you were able to use more of your talents than in any of the roles that you had played to that point. <clears throat> that was, of course. Ah, yes. I recently held responsibility for a large international trade customer in a sales management position. You know, when I inherited the account, the business relationship was not strong. The business processes weren't, weren't sound. So many of the projects that led to sales growth involved working cross-functionally at Whirlpool with mirrored customer roles at many different levels, really from the top down. Uh, probably proudest of a complex kind of year-long project involving nearly every level of the value chain to improve on-time delivery of products to the customer. The project was important because meeting on time delivery had a cascade effect on sales, uh, forecast accuracy, supply chain management, and vastly improved the customer relationship, which you know, in turn was a catalyst to gaining ancillary marketing and sales program approval from the customer. You know, I'm proud of this because in the end, uh, my organization was happier, the customer was happier, and, and sales markedly improved. One last word. Well, thank you, James, and thanks to everyone in the audience. <laughs>